One, grab your partner. I'm going to walk you through a few steps. Grab your partner. My partner's on his knees in front of me. Grab your partner. Oh! I am the one that is doing the work, so we'll switch it off in a few moments so you can walk through these steps with you on the other side of us. So the one who's set up into the elevator operator position, you're the one doing all the work. Partner's just sitting on the knees right now. Elevator operators, we know how we're going to be offline. We've got, already got the underhook position, and we're also going to have this uh, double hook position here. Now, what we're working here is we know before, we, if we had the wrist from the beginning, we didn't need to double up. We go right to the sweep. If we didn't have the wrist, we did the double up, jerk, and take the sweep. If we do the double up and it still does not expose a hand or it goes far, it goes long on us, we still don't have that sweep available. We know we still have available, we can do our tactical get up from here. Remember, that's always on the table, right? Right? That makes sense, okay? What we also have available at this point, crew, set up the same position I am with your partner. I'm going to walk you through a few steps. Mm -hmm. Now I got my head up. You, you can have your head up right now to look at it. We know my head would be in the pocket. I hit my double up position. That hand is too far for me to reach. Okay? Head would be in the pocket. Well, this, I'm pushing hard with this forearm against the side of the head. All right? So we got right leg in, right leg in, right leg in. Left elevator reaches across, touches the inside of the thigh. Don't have to pick up the knee. That leg can stay flat. Left foot reaches across. Got it? We're on the same page. Right foot becomes a belly vader. Hook it right here. Got that? So let's go back to position. I'm going to walk into it. Pull those back out. Go back to your original elevator position. Okay? Left elevator in. Belly elevator. Let's do it again. Low elevator. Belly elevator. See, it's just not putting, pushing past. It's still pulling up with the toes here. Got that? We're good so far. All right. I've been pushing with this forearm the whole time. I'm now going to allow my shin, this left shin, to become my forearm and push against the side of the head. So now that elevator comes out, the shin becomes where the forearm was. We're on the same page? On the same page? Got it? Got it? Got it? This is pushing. This is pushing. I'm going to continue to push with this belly vader, push with the shin as I fall towards my uh, right shoulder, towards his hip. As I do that, this leg comes over the top and puts into a figure four position. We got that? That's all right. Let's get here, here, here. Low elevator, belly elevator. Push, shin becomes the form. Got that in there? You're going to fall towards your right shoulder, towards that hip. Bring that shin, that leg over the top, and hook that figure four up. That's not I can't do this. I got it. Yes, included. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. oh, that fall towards your right hip. Fall towards your right hip. Right hip. All right. Hold on. Let's look at this again. Stay with me. Stare at me, vet. Vet, stare at me. Come here, stare at me. Stare at me big time. Low elevator. Belly vader. Push. Shin becomes the form. As I fall, this arm will be included the whole way. I can't, I can't leave it behind. I want this arm included as well. All right. Let's try it again. Next bit, right? Yeah. 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 